2e. Get active. B. Listen and read. Can you guess what the phrases in bold mean? 1. Every morning I exercise before I go to school. I want to keep fit. 2. Last year I went on a diet and lost 6 kilos. 3. Ted wants to take up a team sport. He's really interested in volleyball. 4. You have to be in good shape if you want to take part in the cycling race. 5. I think I've put on weight. My clothes don't fit me. 6. Listen again and write M for Mark, C for Carlos or O for Owen. Mark. I never thought I'd like it so much. I used to think it was a silly sport. But now, I think it's the best sport in the world. I have to say, though, it's a bit difficult, more than I expected. When I started playing, I didn't used to be very fit, and trust me, you need to be in good shape to play. It's becoming easier for me, you know, all the running around the pitch. But I really like it. It's different from football and more interesting because you have to use your stick to hit the ball. Carlos. I've always liked it, but I was always too busy with studying to take it up. Well, a few months ago, I decided to join a local team. And what can I say? It's fantastic. It's all I can think about. My friends are in the same team, so we meet and go to practice together every afternoon. I'm not saying it's not hard work, and you can get injured easily, but it's great fun. Yesterday, we won the match after I scored the final goal, and we were all very excited. I think it was because I was wearing new boots. <laughs> Owen. When we lived by the sea, my friends and I used to play for hours, and I enjoyed it a lot. 
But it's one thing to play on the beach with friends, and another to be a member of a team and play on a court. Yes, you still hit the ball over the net, but I miss the sand and the sun, and I don't enjoy it as much. Anyway, I'm going to continue playing because I want to keep fit, and maybe it'll help me make new friends. Moving to a new place is not easy.
Four. Listen. Listen to two radio presenters talking about the best sports team ever, and complete the sentences. And we're back. So, Greg, we've come to the end of your top ten best sports teams ever. What's a number one? Well, we have to go back to the Barcelona Olympics of 1992. I thought so. I'm talking about the USA basketball team, which became known as the Dream Team. I remember it well. I have been a sports reporter for a long time, 25 years to be exact, and I have never seen a team like that. And there was a reason for this. It was the first year that the best players from the NBA, America's National League, played together as a team during the Olympics. So there were lots of famous players. Oh yes, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Charles Barkley. The list goes on. There were twelve players, and they were the best in the world. Did they lose any games? Nope. They won all eight games they played, and they beat each team by an average of forty-four points. Wow, that was hard for the other teams. Well, some teams actually enjoyed the experience. Really? Yes. In their first game against Angola, they won by sixty-eight points. Wow! And after the game, the Angolan players asked the Dream Team for photographs with the players. That's amazing. The good thing is, since the Dream Team, basketball has become very popular all over the world. Lots more countries have got involved, and national teams have improved a lot. That's true. The USA are good, but they don't win every game anymore. Exactly. Well, thanks for that, Bob.